and shooting guard. Standing six foot five, number 24. Excited as we are here on 2K Sports to get things underway. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. A chance to check out the Los Angeles Clippers' upcoming schedule. On Wednesday, they'll kick off a homestand starting with the Portland Trailblazers. And then Friday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah going up against the Jazz. So here's the Clippers' starting group. Kawhi is the small forward with Morris holding down the four spot. Westbrook and George manning the backcourt. And it's Zubats in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. A day like no other. Opening night in the NBA. Doris, what are you most looking forward to this season? Well, the long, hot summer is over finally. To me, one of my favorite things is watching the rookies. Which of those guys will make an immediate impact? Which guy gets the most time? And then, you know, some second rounders always seem to surprise us. The diamonds in the rough that are perhaps a little more prepared than we thought. Now here's Westbrook. Leonard on the wing. Just five to shoot. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. George, good. Nice on time pass to Paul George. He's shot ready. Nicely done. Pass to Wanda Kumpo. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Clippers. Westbrook outside. to Zubats. Six on the shot clock. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by Lopez. And so Ana Kumpo will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. This Clipper squad is quite the mix of players, Doris. Potentially the mix to make a run. I mean, certainly you need seasoned veterans that can still get it done and young guys who can contribute. They've got both of those things and incredible depth. For the Clippers, to me, it's about one thing. How healthy are your stars? Free throw good. Lillard. Doris with all the star power on this Clippers team. It's surprising they haven't won 50 games in a regular season in the last six years. B.A., wow, that is such a striking indictment on the number of injuries this group has had. Load management, obviously, necessary on the one hand, but boy, it affected their rhythm and consistency. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. 
This game against Los Angeles here, their first look at the Clippers. And they were able to come away with wins in both games last season. Impressive to say the least. Now, these two teams could easily end up meeting to decide the NBA championship. Tonight could be a preview of something with more on the line down the road. A oh, nice shot by Morris. You have now got to respect the three-point shooting ability of Marcus Morris. He understands now he's got to take that shot. Now here's Lopez. And here's Connaughton for three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Middleton outside. Back to Lillard. Shoots over Westbrook. A shot by Lillard. No good. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Westbrook outside. Let's go with a three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Lillard against Westbrook. The three. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got five points. Just a big-time answer from Lillard. He competes as hard as anyone in this league. Westbrook, the pass to Lillard. Lopez against George. Again, the Clippers score. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Connects from downtown. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get his shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. Now here's George. He's got five. Lopez with the steal. Here's Middleton. Denied by Leonard. Oh, Kawhi Leonard, the claw says, not here, not now. And the shot is good by Westbrook. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. If I'm a young fan watching the NBA, Kawhi Leonard is a guy I'm keeping a close eye on, Grant. He does everything the right way. B.A., so much to like about Kawhi's game and how he carries himself. He takes so much pride in what he does on both ends of the floor. Here's Westbrook following the score by Milwaukee. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Timeout called. Time out. Milwaukee. Started. Changes. Fortis, he's checked in for Lopez. Beasley comes in for Connaughton. And Payne is subbed in for Damian Lillard. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Plumley's checked in for Zubats. Covington comes in for Morris. Norman Powell, he's checked in for George. And it's Mann in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Payne. Out to the right wing. And stolen by Covington. Here's Mann, defended by Payne. Pass to Leonard. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Now Payne from deep. And 
and the three-pointer goes. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Powell. Pass to Leonard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Leonard's got seven points in the game. Well, Kawhi Leonard meets the defender at the rim, and he comes out on top. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Outside Payne. On an Akumpo, outside. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Yeah, one of the most efficient inside scores. Giannis just can't be stopped. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. What has them in front right now? By and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back after this word. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers well they found a groove and it's from distance so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts yeah what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game a good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes Grant you had a terrific mid-range game it feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Robert Covington is out there with Mason Plumley. Then it's Terrence Mann. Then it's Norman Powell. And it's George in at the shooting guard position. down the first one you love a well-rounded player like Jay Crowder cross positional on the defensive end a guy who has really developed into a multi-talented threat Bochamp he's checked in for Milwaukee and that one goes in two from the line that time the Clippers in the lead here's man still no points Pass to George. And Bochamp pulls it down. Milwaukee has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Here's Crowder, and he buries his first look. I'll tell you, great job by Crowder to free himself up an aggressive interior scorer. Plumley up top. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Plumley a screen on Middleton. Back to Plumley. Kicks it to George. Pick by Covington. There's the three. The rebound by the Bucks. And here's Middleton. Pass to Crowder. Beasley outside. The three ball. He can't get that one to fall. 
The Clippers have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Powell, it's good. Norman Powell with the rise and fire from three-point territory. Pretty delivery. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Brian, with PG and Kawhi, the Clippers feel they have the talent to win it all. George said, quote, both of us internally had a promise to bring a championship here. This core has been here for years now. And when you look at the teams that win and are very successful, it's the teams that have been together, gel and connect. Brian? Yeah, that's the right philosophy there. All about health. Thanks, Allie. Here's George. Out to Covington. Pass to Mann. Over Beasley. Who drains the 19-footer. And it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. Beasley for three. The shot no good. And it's Powell with the ball for Los Angeles. Here's Mann. George with it. From outside the arc. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade. And the Bucks with some changes. Anadokounmpo is checked in for Crowder. Connaughton comes in for Bochamp. And Lillard subbed in for Beasley. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Morris comes in for Covington. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Powell. And it's Westbrook in for Mann. Connaughton finds Anadokounmpo. Connaughton with a screen on Morris. Here's Anadokounmpo. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Leonard looking over the floor. Over Middleton. Shot by Leonard, no good. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Over Middleton, rebound, Milwaukee. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. And here's Connaughton. Portis outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Lillard. Puts up a deep three. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. And the basket by Westbrook. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Portis with a screen on Westbrook. For three, here's Lillard. Oh! Lillard laces in a three. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. All right, let's look back on last season for a moment. Here were your scoring leaders. Third is Damian Lillard. And, of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two premier scoring options that defenses really have to scramble to account for. Lillard with the ball. Give him eight. Portis with a screen on Westbrook. Fires in the triple. And it's now only a five-point Clipper lead. You know, building up confidence as the game goes on. Hit one from behind the arc. Time 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 here. Two here in the second. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Angeles. 
And the Clippers have possession. They've led by as many as 11. Westbrook finds Leonard. Powell outside. Zubats with a screen on Connaughton. Down to five on the shot clock. Powell's shot is off. And so it's on Kumpo with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Trailing by five. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The resume Giannis has built already is impressive. And he's nowhere close to being done adding to it. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. And that one falls for Ana de Cupo. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter, <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line. Morris, a screen on Lopez. Leonard passes to Morris. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Morris has got his second basket on the night. Boy, when asked to take on this role, guys, Kawhi Leonard has proven to be a reliable facilitator. Pass to Lopez. Now Lillard lets a three fly. It's rebounded by Zubats. Might be a good idea to run the clock. Hold it for the last shot. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. He shoots. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Yeah, such an imposing defensive force. Giannis with the... Oh, yes. it's good! Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. That's how you beat the clock. Just beating the buzzer. Listen to this crowd right now. <laughs> Incredible. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Clippers ahead. They lead by three. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offer. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Thanks for joining us. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks in a tight ball game at the end of the half. And a bit of a gear switch here. Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand in a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach out of Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. And we need to talk about the first half that Russell Westbrook just turned in. He was all over the place. Well, he's been absolutely locked in from range, something my man Kenny knows about. Ain't that right, Jet? Uh, oh, huh? You're talking about me. Oh, I, 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 I didn't even know. You're talking about three-point shooting locked in? I, I've been, I just know a little bit about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Fading mock surprise. Uh. Actually, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Jason Eugene, Terry. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. 
Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. If you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. A fantastic game from Russell Westbrook in this one. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis hit forward. Damian Lillard out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's the group for Adrian Griffin as we begin the second half. Yeah, Lillard is relentless on offense tonight, getting bucket after bucket for his team. Pass to Leonard. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Westbrook's got 15. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Down low. Here's Lillard. Lillard converting inside. And that's just Giannis making the right play, feeding the open man. Westbrook taking his time here. The rebound by the Bucks. Anadokounmpo, pass to Connaughton. Now here's Lillard. Now here's Connaughton. He's got six. Lillard double team. Back to Connaughton. And another three for Milwaukee. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Pass to Leonard. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. And he gets it to go. He's got nine. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard has found so many ways to score. He can slip around you with his length. He can go through you with his strength. This guy's so tough to guard. Middleton finds Connaughton. And the box hit again from deep. Brilliant second half start. Four for four from the field. Can't ask for any better. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Leonard. For three, Westbrook. Rebound by Middleton. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Lillard outside. Now here's Middleton. Leonard defending. Takes one from 10 feet. That shot off the mark. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Westbrook's got 18. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Lopez, the screen on Morris. Honor to Kumpo against Morris. And the big finish by Giannis. Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. Attacking. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. And the Bucks making a change here. Beasley's checked in. Norman Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Free throw drops for Leonard. Boy, Kawhi Leonard lets his game do the talking. Yes, he's soft-spoken and quiet, but boy, he's a big-time player. Lopez, the screen on Westbrook. Pass to Lopez. Here's Beasley. On to Kumpo with it. Leonard defending. And here's Middleton. The three. And another three for Milwaukee. Now, if you're the defense, to heat up out there. I mean, he can be so efficient from long range. 
Leonard for three. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. 15 points in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez has got his second bucket on the night. Well, the balance that Brook Lopez has on these kinds of finishes is really admirable. He doesn't allow the defense to alter his shot. Now that's a textbook alley -oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. All right, Grant, talking about Ibiza Zubac, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Brian, in his 10th season in the league, Mason Plumley started shooting left-handed. He said, quote, it felt good changing, and the more I practice, it just shorted up my decision. It's about the result, and I'm happy I made the change. I don't even question it, and that's where I like to be, Brian. Well, it's working for him, whatever he's doing. Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. And the Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's Bochamp in for Lillard. So Middleton will bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a three-point game. Portis against Plumley. Pass to Crowder. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. On Robert Covington. I think you have to be cautious when guarding Jay Crowder. He excels at using his body to get these calls. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. on both 36 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball Leonard against Middleton it's Covington on the wing it's good and the assist that time from Leonard Leonard's got six assists here tonight lackluster defense showing no desire to chase shooters off that line Now Middleton. From behind the arc. That shot missing. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. Points coming at bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. The Clippers on top. They're up by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Robert Covington is out there with Norman Powell. Then it's Mason Plumley. Then there's Paul George. And it's Mann in at the point. Pass to Powell. 
Fires from the wing. No luck on that one. Good work defensively by Crowder. To the middle. Here's Ana de Kumpo. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And just look at the body control. Giannis doesn't allow the contact to throw him off. Out to Covington. Fires the three. Counted from distance. And the Clippers lead by five. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Portis with a screen on Powell. Ana Kumpo outside. Ooh, good D by Plumley. Los Angeles shooting with some fire. 66% in this one. Powell passes to George. And the jam by George. Wow, pretty pass from Powell. This guy has great instincts as a scorer. At that time, sets up his teammate. Portis outside. Launches it from deep. Unable to get that one. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Back to George. It's hauled in by Connaughton. Connaughton's got four rebounds now. Easily for three. Knocks down the long J. Boy, he saw the pass coming, and Beasley was shot ready on the catch. Crowder against Powell. Pass to George. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Boy, a little bit of separation inside and taking advantage is Paul George. Ana Kumpo surveys. Now here's Connaughton. Here's Beasley. Launches it. And another three for Milwaukee. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Chris Middleton comes in for Crowder. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Beasley. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Tyron Lue address the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? And Ali, thank you for that. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Out to Leonard. Takes a three. Look at Leonard. Dialed in from deep. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Pass to Lillard. Back to Connaughton. Anadokounmpo against Morris. Middleton from the outside. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Kupo's got three assists tonight. Now here's Leonard. Six to shoot. Puts up a three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. I love when Kawhi Leonard evens things up. You make a three, I'm coming right back at you. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And the box hit again from deep. It's game time. Whenever this team needs a big shot, he knows how to get one. Leonard outside. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. And just a painful blow right there. I mean, behind the lead, they give up a big triple. Lillard outside. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Leonard. Pass to man. Up 
Minute 42 left to play in the fourth quarter. Morris outside. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Well, this is Zubats. He's such a team first guy. You find an open teammate, put the ball where it needs to be. Lillard outside. There's contact, but Lillard slips through. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. A minute four left to play in the fourth quarter. Five to shoot. Morris, a screen on Lillard. No good from outside. Milwaukee has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. The shot comes out. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. Well, Grant, this game looks just about over. B.A., all they really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wrap. George passes to Leonard. Leonard, double team. Zubats with it. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. And the Clippers lead by nine. Yeah, you've seen Kawhi evolve as a facilitator over the last several years. Love to see him setting up his teammates. Middleton outside. Anadokounmpo for three. It's rebounded by Zubats. And so it's Leonard who brings up the ball for the L.A. Clippers. So the Clippers win it. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And we'll see you at the next Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Russell, this was a high-level back-and-forth basketball game. What's the mentality that got you the win? We'll go get it. We're going to compete at a high level. You know, you live for games like this as a competitor. Uh, come out and compete, and I know I look forward to it every single time. And we live to watch games like this. Thanks, Russell. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.